Today I'm going to be reviewing the CauseRx Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence and also the Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. I had been wanting to test these out for quite a while and I just kind of didn't stick to using them. I would use this for a little while but then I was having breakouts. Um, not because of this, um, I only, you know, tested this out you know, a couple of times. I didn't use it consistently enough to see results with because, you know, I was still getting some acne and I wanted to make sure I cleared that up before I did start using these because these are not like acne type of products, but instead they're supposed to be good for like fading dark spots. That's really the main reason that I wanted to give these a try because I do have post acne marks. I wanted to see how well they would work to fade those post acne marks. I did test these out for a month and I do have before and after pictures to show you. So I will be showing you those so you'll be able to to decide for yourself how well you think it works. Starting off with the essence, this contains 96.3% of snail secretion filtrate. Now, when I first started he hearing about these snail mucin products, I was like, ew, why would I wanna put snail mucin on my face? And then of course I decided to buy the product, but I did look into it more. And also something that I feel like, you know, some people might be concerned about, and I was too, was like, isn't that like, is this cruelty free? Like, how does that work? So apparently how they do it is very, very harmless. It does not hurt the snails at all. Apparently what they do is they put all the snails in this dark room and they have some kind of surface that these snails are just kind of crawling around on and they then, you know, the secretion is left behind and then they collect that secretion in order to use it in the product. So apparently they are not harmed, which is very, very important. We don't wanna be harming the little snails. Um, so I decided that I was going to give it a try. I was still a little bit grossed out about putting this stuff on my face. Um, but I decided to give it a try. And you know, when you do use these to see the consistency of them, like, you can definitely get that feeling of snail music. I mean, like, look at this, ready? It just, like, it's slime. I don't know how well it's picking up on camera, but hopefully you can tell. It feels very, it actually feels very, very um, lightweight. It's not sticky. Yeah, it's interesting. It's kind of hard to describe. It's not sticky, it's not gooey, but it gives that, like, slime look to it. And the moisturizer does a similar thing, too. Let me just show you just from opening it. I mean, look at this. So very interesting how it looks. What the benefits or the claims that they make that the snail essence is supposed to do, I feel like it's very similar to the cream. I decided to use them in combination because I feel like you know they're probably supposed to be used together. The benefits that they do claim about these is that they're supposed to fade dark spots, improve skin texture, anti-aging, provide intense hydration, and then the skin concerns they say it's good for is dull and rough skin, good for damaged skin, for soothing damaged skin, and also good for treating dark spots and scars so again my main purpose for trying them out was I wanted to see how it would help with fading leftover acne marks a difference between the essence and the all-in-one cream so the essence has 96.3 percent of the snail mucin and then the all-in-one cream has 92 percent so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna show you my before and after pictures first and then I'll give you more of my thoughts on the products pictures um you know not like a drastic difference i was definitely kind of hoping for more results but also something with skincare it takes time i probably should have tested it out for for at least two months i feel like that would i would just see probably more obvious results within two months but i did end up stopping after one month just because while i do think that it was helping with fading some dark spots and it definitely does provide some hydration to the skin i feel like I don't even know if it's just me. I don't, this might be an unpopular opinion, but I feel like it was potentially causing a little texture. I know they mentioned that it's supposed to help with kind of getting rid of texture, but I feel like it was potentially causing some texture. I just felt like I did get a little bit of texture, those like little 
breakouts. So that's just me. I do have acne prone skin. So if you also have acne prone skin, it's possible you might have a similar experience as me. But, you know, skincare is so individual. Everybody's skin reacts differently to different products. So my opinion is just my opinion. And it's based on my experience. But hopefully it can kind of still give you an idea. Um, you know, I don't think also that it was like... I don't think that it was crazy moisturizing either. It is supposed to give intense hydration. And while, like, I feel like with initial application like applying the essence and then applying the cream on top it definitely makes your skin feel moisturized it definitely looks like it has a nice gloss to your skin but i feel like my skin would just kind of soak it up really quickly i don't know i feel like my skin just like in the morning it didn't feel like it was super moisturized if that makes sense as opposed to like some other moisturizers that i've used I just feel like the moisture kind of lasted longer with other products that I've used. Um, I just don't think that these were like intense hydration for longer term, if that makes any sense. Like sometimes I feel like I would wake up in the night and feel like my skin was actually kind of dry and like I wanted to apply moisturizer again. But that's just me. Um, I do have combination skin for reference. My skin isn't like super dry or anything. So that is my experience with them. Yes, I do think that it can help with fading post acne marks. I do think that I, if I were to use it for longer than a month, again, I would see better results. But um, I do think that it definitely does have the ability to help with fading dark spots. I think also when, you know, treating post acne marks, really keeping the skin hydrated definitely is or does play a really large role in being able to fade those marks. Just keeping your skin hydrated, that definitely does help. Also, of course, sunscreen during the day. Um, but yeah, I, I do think this has the potential but I don't think it would be like my favorite product for treating post acne marks. I've tried other products that I like better for post acne marks. That is my opinion on these. I hope it was helpful. I know that these are favorites for some people, especially the Essence. It works different for different people, but that is my experience. If you guys do wanna check out these products, I will have them listed and linked in the description box below. If you do have any other questions about them that I didn't answer in this video, let me know in the comment section below. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. I'd also love for you to join me on Instagram. I post even more skincare related content on there. I would love for you to join me there. My Instagram handle is dannysmith405. I will also have my Instagram linked in the description box below if you do want to check out my page. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and hope to see you all for my next video.